Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Mungu amwanzilisha pewe sifa. Aimidiwe. Changamka bwana raha jupe mwenyewe. Oh haleluya haleluya haleluya. Tumishi wa Mungu yeye hupewa kuhubiri, kufundisha, kuonya na kuongoza. Tulia makini tumsikilize kwa makini. Yeye atakaposimama hata kama kuna shida gani kwako. Sikiza yale maneno atakayopewa kunena. Shida yako si kitu, tatizo lako si kitu. Utakaposikia yale maneno na kuyapokea na kuyakubali kila kitu kitadondoka utatoka hapa we mzima hauna neno kila kitu kitakuwa sawa Tumishi wa Mungu na kuomba karibu kaweze kutuongoza karibu sana Na wasalimu wapendwa wangu katika jina la Bwana Yesu Ninaamini mahala ulipo I believe where you are una furaha tele You have a lot of joy Mana Yesu alifufuka because Jesus resurrected. Atafufuka ndani yetu and will resurrect inside our hearts. Akiingia when he enters akiingia once he enters wewe utaona umebadilika. You will see yourself having changed. Alipofufuka hakukaa hapo. When he resurrected he never stayed there. Aliondoka. He left. Hai takuweje unasema umekuwa chumba kipya na uko pale kwa kunusa tumbako. Then how do you claim that you have become a new creature and you are sitting there? Alipofufuka when he resurrected, aliondoka. He left. Amen. Amen. Aliondoka kabisa. He left completely. Kwa kila kitu ambacho kinamkwaza Mungu. In everything that was offending God. Akaondoka. He left it. Watu wakaenda kaburini. So people went to the grave. Eh? Yeah. Wana sawadi zao. With their present and rewards. Wapake mafuta. At least to anoint him. Kufika kaburi halina mtu. But reaching there the, the grave was empty. Lakini kumebaki mtu pale wa kuambia watu. But then there was someone there to inform them. Kama nilivyosema, as he said, amefufuka hayupo. He is now resurrected, he is not here. Galilaya mtamuona. Go to Galilee and you'll find him there. Usikae hapo. Do not stay there. Yesu hayuko hapo. Jesus is not there. Alipofufuka aliondoka. When is resurrected he left. Na hata leo. And even today. Anaenda kufufuka katika roho zetu. He is going to resurrect in our hearts. Nilikuta mtu mmoja. I found one man. Wakati nimeokoka juzi juzi hapo. At the time I was newly saved. Wa. Yeah. Akiomba when he prays hata nyinyi nyote mtaamuka kama mmelala you are going to wake up all of you if you are asleep vizuri sana very well lakini akakosa kwa na hakika but then he was not sure kabisa ndugu zangu sure my brothers tumuombe ni Mungu jioni ya leo let us pray to God this evening bana mmegaramika sana because you have taken the cost kutoka kule na kule mko hapa coming from different ends hata Mungu amefurahi kwa hilo even God is very much pleased because Sasa, of that sasa ya na Mungu anataka awape roho ya kuwa na hakika God wants to give you the spirit of being sure hata unahubiri so I'm preaching amen amen Unahubiri. You are preaching. Unaenda wapi? You are going anywhere. Lakini uwe na hakika. But then you have to be very sure. Uwe na hakika. You have to be very sure. Kwamba haya maneno yanatoka kwa Mungu. That this words are coming from God. Hata niko hapa, and even I'm here, ni neno la Mungu mmenifanya niko hapa. It is the word of God that has made me to be Kamo here. Kama na hakika hiyo. So if you have that surety, kwa Mungu hutakosa mazuri. Then to God never miss anything na good. Na yale yasiyofaa. And whatever is not good, tena Mungu atayaondoa. Is God is going to remove them from you. Kwa sababu una hakika. Because you have that surety. Kaeni na wokofu wa hakika. So stay with the salvation of the church. Kwa sababu ndio najo Mungu anasema shika sana. Whatever thing that you are holding God is saying hold it very firmly. Uwe na hakika. And be very sure. Nyinyi watu wa Mungu, you are people of God. Nyinyi mnategemewa. You are dependent you are kila sehemu are to. kila sehemu duniani. In all areas in this other world. Kuombea ulimwengu. Because we are praying for the world. Bila maombi, without prayers, hatutaweza. We cannot manage anything. Hatutaweza. We cannot do anything. Lakini nyinyi watu wa Mungu, but then you are people of God. You are Mungu na Mungu atatenda. You are the one to beseech God and God's going to do. Kwa sababu yeye yuko. Because God is there. 
Anasema nitafuteni and he saying you visit me nanyi mtaniona and going to find me Unajua watu wa Mungu you know people of God utateseka you are going to be persecuted usumbuke you be troubled hata watu huenda ta mwisho wakati akokoka akaenda murugani even people go to an extent of going to suit saying Anasema hivi I saying this huyu this one alieniroga huyu si mchache huyu the one who is bewitching me is not hata hujaroga na mtu no one is bewitching you una hakika you are not sure kwamba Mungu anakuwazia mazuri that God is God is not a good to you lakini ukiwa na hakika jioni ya leo once you get that surety today evening mwanadamu anamwasi Mungu a human being is rebelling against God kwa sababu ya kukosa kuwa na hakika because of missing that surety kwamba Mungu anamwazia mazuri that God thinking is good to him Mungu anatafuta hata jioni ya leo so God is seeking even now evening na ni sisi tulio hapa and it is to us who are here tutakapoenda mbele za Mungu once we go before God hili neno this word kutokuwa na hakika not to be sure linafanya waongofu kuwa vukuvuku is making many christians to be lukewarm mara na kinyaga huku at one time is stepping this mara na kinyaga huku another time stepping this side wake ni nusu nusu Your healing is halfway. Umoja wake ni nusu nusu. Your unity is also halfway. Lakini mwongofu aliye na hakika. But then any safe man who is very sure. Kwa Mungu alisema hivi. That God said this. Yuko pale pale haondoki. He is there he does not leave. Shedrak na Meshak Abednego. Shedrak Meshak and Abednego. Wakaambiwa. They were told. Haya mjue watu wote kesho. Okay you should know that all people tomorrow. Wanaenda kwa maombi kule. Are going for prayers there. What? Where? Kamba kule. There. Tunaona magari yanapita wakubwa wote wanaenda huko. You have you have seen vehicle passing all senior people are going there. Wakasema sisi tuna Mungu tayari tuna mabudu. They said we already have a God that we are worshiping. Wakaambiwa hata wale nao wana Mungu wale. So they were also told those people also have Lakini a God. Lakini ile ni specially watu waende huko. But then these are special prayers all people have to go there. Wakasema itawezekana. Then they said it will be possible. Unajua mtatupwa motoni? Do you know that it will be thrown in the furnace? Unaona faida ya kuwa na hakika? You see the benefit of being sure wakasema they said eh? yeah mungu tumabuduya tatuokoa the god we worship him to save us habari zikafika so the information was reached there shedrak na meshaka that shedrak wa mekata kuenda kule have refused to go there wakaambiwa wapelekeni huko so they were told okay take them there wakaambiwa mnaona haya makaa yaliyo hapa okay they were told are you seeing this charcoal which is Tuna, here tunayaongeza hapa we are going to add more kwa ajili yenu nyinyi for the sake of you maana hamsikii because you don't listen they said okay do it Oh, oh, these people who are not hearing where do they come from <laughs> but then they had this word sure they were very sure so they were thrown the furnace Moja, mbili, tatu. One, two, three. Hai. okay so they were waiting for them Wasa to make noise calling for help ah. no Hata sile kamba. Even the rocks, Zimechomeka. they had been burned. So now they were walking Halli, inside oh, the fire. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Ah. Oh, they are saying hallelujah inside the furnace. Tena, and again, kidogo, at a little while, wamekuwa waine hapa. They are now four. Na ho, watu watu. And they had thrown three people. Kwanza wakashutuka. So they were Sisi so surprised. We have we have known three Kesa people. And now they are four. Anatoka wapi huyu? Then where does the fourth one come from? Ume yeye amekuja kuzima huo moto. And already had come to put off the fire. Unawaka lakini hauna kazi. That fire was burning but they had no work. <laughs> Matayo 16. Matayo chapter 16. Kifungu 13. Uendelee. Basi Yesu ka, basi Yesu akaenda pande za Kaisaria Filipi akawauliza wanafunzi wake akasema watu hunena mwana wa Adamu kuwa ni nani wakasema wengine hunena Yohana mbatizaji wengine Elia wengine Yeremia au mojawapo wa manabii akawaambia nanyi mwaninena mimi kuwa ni nani Simoni Petro akajibu akasema wewe ndiwe Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. When Jesus came in the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, Who do men say that I the son of man I am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Eli Elias, and others Jeremiah, and one of the prophets. And said unto them, But who say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ the son of the living God. 
Amen. Amen. Yesu anatafuta watu walio na hakika. So Jesus was looking for people who are sure. Siku moja one day huyo Petro akaulizwa. Peter was asked na Bwana Yesu by Jesus Christ. Maana alikuwa amekutana na watu za ushuru huko. Because he had met some tax collectors there. Alipoingia tu when he came in Yesu akamuliza Petro. Jesus asked Peter. Petro anakuuliza Peter masking you. Wanao toa kodi those who pay taxes. Ni wageni au ni wenyeji? Are they aliens or maybe akasema, citizens? Akasema ni wageni. He said the aliens. Akasema umesema vizuri. He said you have spoken the truth. Lakini sisi tusije tukakwaza. But for us not to be an offense. Naenda baharini. You go to the sea. Ukavue samaki. And fish. Utoe kodi yangu na yako. And pay my tax and you as also. Maana wawili wote walikuwa hawajatoa. Because both of them had not paid. Lakini but Yesu si mtu wa kulaumika. Jesus was not a person to be blamed. Akasema haya wewe katoe kodi yako na yangu. That he, that he, so he instructed that go and pay your tax and mine also. Sasa so Mungu atafanya kazi kwa sababu Mungu ni neno. God is going to work because God is the word. Mungu ni neno. God is the word. Sasa anazungumza huyo neno. So the word is not speaking. Anakuuliza huyo neno. He is asking you that is the word. Anakwambia una hakika. He saying are you sure? Hilo tu. That's all. Kuwa na hakika. To be very sure. Mtu akikosa kuwa na hakika. If any man is not sure. Ndio Yesu. And that's why Jesus. Akawaambia wanafunzi wake. He told his disciples. Watu wanasema mimi ni nani what huko. What do people say I am there? Wakasema. So he say, they wengine say. Wengine husema Yeremia. Some say you are Jeremiah. Wengine Elia. Some say Elias. Wengine Musa. Some say Moses. Au mmoja wa wanabii amefufuka. Oh maybe one of the prophet or one of the sons of the prophet was resurrected. Oh. Okay. Na nyinyi mnasema mimi ni nani? And what do you say Hao I am? Hao sasa ni wanafunzi kama nyinyi. Now those are disciples like you. Wanaulizwa na Bwana Yesu. They are being asked by the Lord Jesus. Wamekaa kama vile mmekaa. They were seated there where you are seated. Akauliza Yesu. So he asked that is Jesus. What wanasema mimi ni nani? What do people say I am? Pedro akasimama. So Peter stood up. Wewe ni Kristo mwana wa Mungu. You are Christ the son of God. Oh. Okay. Hebu hebu soma uendelee. You read and go ahead. Alipata nini huyu? What did he get? Mtu aliye na hakika. This man who is very sure. Na wanafunzi ni wengi. And the disciples are many. Endelea. Go ahead. Yesu akajibu, "Heri wewe Simoni Bariona, kwa kuwa mwili na damu havikufunuliwa hili, bali baba yangu aliye mbinguni." Na kuambi, nami nakwambia wewe ndiwe Petro na juu ya mwamba huu nitalijenga kanisa langu wala milango ya, kiza, ya kuzimu haitalishinda nami nitakupa wewe funguo za ufalme wa mbinguni na lolote utakalo lilifunga duniani litakuwa limefungwa mbinguni amen na... amen and jesus answered and said unto him blessed are thou simon but jonah for flesh and blood had not re revealed it unto thee but my father which is in heaven and i say also unto thee that thou art peter and upon this rock i will build my church and the gates of and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and i will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt build shall bind on earth shall be bound on heaven and whatsoever thou shall lose on earth shall be loosened in heaven hata leo and even today Mungu anatafuta mtu aliye na hakika God is looking for someone who is sure Akamwambia Petro So he told Peter Baba amekufunulia It is my father who has revealed Sasa, to you Sasa now juu ya mwamba huu nitalijenga kanisa Upon this rock I'll build my church Na funguo unachochukua And the keys also take them Ukilifunga hapa limefungwa mpaka huko Anything you bind here is also bound Ukilifungua in heaven Ukifungua hapa limefunguka mpaka huko Anything you open here will also be loosened in Ni heaven Ni nani huyo mtu huyo Then who is this man Ni mtu aliye na hakika Is a person who is very sure Kwa Mungu that God can do this and he is the one who said that and he is the one who said that we give and he is the one who said that we love our wives and we also we obey our husbands eh? yeah? he is the same person so we are very sure let us be very sure do not say ah, kutu kaza, kutu kaza, kutu kaza, kutu kaza, kutu kaza, no insulting is not a problem do not say ah kutukana si makosa no insulting is not a problem when you kutaka kupiga watu those who want to beat people na ni wongofu and they are safe people wana tumia kifu they use a verse. Yesu aliingia kanisani. That Jesus entered into the church. Akakuta watu wametandika mikeka huko na uza tomato. And found people having spread mass there selling tomatoes. Akasema nyote mtajua leo. And he told them you will know me today. Walitandikwa viboko ndugu si Yesu alifanya hivyo. 
Hey. And they were all with brother. Jesus did that. Unajapa watu kwa sababu ya hiyo. So now you are whipping people because Sio of that. That is not the case. Hizo tomatoes ziko hapa rohoni hapa. Those tomatoes are inside your heart. Usikapiga watu kanisani. Do not beat people in church. Ah. No. Nyanya na sukuma ziko humu rohoni huko. Tomatoes are inside your heart. Uko humu unapiga makofi unasema ah. You are here clapping. Ibada itaisha nini? But then you are saying. I don't know when the service is ending because my customers are there. Hiyo ndio niliyofanya Yesu akachapa huyo mtu. That is the reason that made Jesus to whip that man. Lakini nyinyi ni watu wa Mungu jioni ya leo. But you are all men of God today. Mungu anataka awape haki zenu. And God wants to give you righteousness. Na tutaombea neno hili. And we are going to pray for this one. Kuwa na hakika. To be very sure. Mungu atakuponya vipi? Then how will God heal you? Si ndio Yesu akaleta mtihani. And that's why Jesus brought an examination. Wakasema nyinyi watu wanasemaje huko? So he had to ask them what do people say there? Alianza na huko nje. He began with outside. Alafu arudi hapa ndani. And then came inside. Watu wanasemaje huko nje? And what do people say? Wanasema mimi ni nani? What do they say I am? Akataja. So they mention. Haya akawageukia wao. Okay, he turned to them. Haya na nyinyi. And you? ambao Mungu wa pamoja na mimi. Unasema me. mimi ni nani? What do you say? Wewe ni Kristo mwana wa Mungu. You are Christ the son of God. Wa. Yeah. Akaambiwa shika funguo hii. He was told now hold the key. Je, unaamini hilo? Do you believe that? Hata inaweza ukapewa funguo wewe. That you can also be given the keys. Hata wewe acha maneno mengi. You for that men affairs. Wewe tafuta kitu tu. You just seek for this thing. mimi niko kanisani. Right I'm inside the church. Na ninatembea nikiwa kanisani. And I'm walking while inside the church. Hata ni mtu wa kanisa. I'm, I am a man of the church. Lakini je, nina hakika na haya maneno ya Mungu? But then am I sure with this word of God? Ibrahim alikuwa na hakika. Abraham was very much sure. Akaitwa na Mungu. He was called by God. Toka katika nyumba ya babako. Come out of your father's house. Na watu wa kwenu. And from your kindred. Wende nchi nitakayokuonyesha. And go to a country I'll show you. Nitakubariki huko. And I'll bless you there. Akatoka. So he left. Ni mtu aliye na hakika. He was a person very sure. Ana hakika na Mungu. He was very sure with God. Leo dunia nzima. And today the whole world. Ibrahim. Abraham. Ibrahim. Abraham. Dunia nzima. The whole world. Alifanyaje huyo mtu huyo? What did this man do? Alikuwa na hakika. He was very sure. Alipoagizwa toka akatoka. When he was commanded to leave, he left. Ni lazima ndugu utoke. It is a must that you have to leave. Kwa ile mipango yako. From your plans. Kwa zile tabia zako. From your habits. Mtu atoke. One has to come out. Sasa ukitoka. And once you come out. Hapo hapo Mungu anakuja. That's where God comes. Anasema mtoto wangu umefanya vizuri. And he said my child you have done well. Ngoja sasa nikubariki. Let me now bless you. Mtu aliye na hakika. A person who is very sure. Amen. Amen. Mtu aliye na hakika hana wasiwasi. A person who is very sure is not worried. Hana hofu. He is not fearing. Yeye na hakika hili neno ni la Mungu hili. He is sure that this word comes from God. Kuwa na hakika. So to be sure. Kwamba Mungu aliahidi. That God promised. Atatutendea mema. And is going to do good to us. Kuwa na hakika. You have to be sure. Ukikosa kuwa na hakika If you miss having that surety, utakuta mambo mengi unayakosa. You you find yourself missing so many things. Kwa hivyo tutamuomba Mungu jioni ya leo. So we are going to pray to God today evening. Ili Mungu akaweze kutupa roho yake. For God to be able to give us his spirit. Atakaye tusaidia. Who will assist us? Popote pale. Wherever we are. Tufanye kazi ya Mungu. That we do the work of God. Siku na mchana. Day and night. Tena huingii kwa makosa. And you don't go to Ukitaka kuingia roho anakuokoa. If you want to go to mistakes the spirit is saving you. Kazi ya roho mtakatifu the work of the Holy Ghost anatusaidia is to help you kutupeleka kwa la Mungu. Taking us to the word of God. Kutupeleka kwa la Mungu. To take us to the word of God. Unatoka imani hata imani. Coming from one faith to another faith. Ikiwa na roho mtakatifu. If you have the spirit of God. Baraka siko tu. Blessings are there. Amani iko tu. Peace is also there. Furaha iko tu. Joy is there. Lakini ni mpaka tuwe na hakika. But you have to be very sure. Kwamba Mungu alisema that God said mimi nawatamania mazuri that i'm coveting good for you anasema nawatamania mazuri he says i covet good for you sasa wewe tafuta kwa na hakika so sucks to be very sure utakapoenda mbele za mungu so when you go before god umwambie nimeishi mbele zako say i have lived for you na nimesikia mengi and i've had so many words lakini but sina hakika i'm not sure ndio unaona mtu anarudi anafanya dhambi and that's why you find one comes back and to do anarudi anafanya dhambi tena goes back to commit sin again maana amekosa kwa na hakika because he's missing this to be sure amen amen je utakata shauri jioni ya Are you going to decide today evening? Soma huyo Yeremia. You read the book of Jeremiah. Ndio hapo somee hapo. 
Tukitayarisha twende mbele za Mungu. You prepare yourself that we go before God. Na Mungu atamimina baraka zake. And God is going to pour his Mungu atamimina roho yake. God is going to pour the spirit. Hata tukitoka hapa. And when we come out of this place. Leo ni siku ya Alhamisi. Today is a Thursday. Jumatano. Yesterday was an a Wednesday. Tutaomba. We are going to pray. Ni siku ya maombi kwanza. It is a day of prayers. Bwana tujalie that Lord enable us roho ya kuwa na hakika to have the spirit of being sure mwanadamu apewe hii roho any human being to give in kuna watu wa Mungu wazuri sana dunia hii there are so many men good of god men wanahubiri injili who are preaching the gospel wale ambao si wahubiri and those who are not the preachers lakini wanakaa vizuri but then they stay very well lakini tutafute kuwa na hakika but then let us look for to this to be sure tafute kuwa na hakika let us seek to be sure hebu soma tena you read again yeremia huyo huyo the book of jeremiah maana anayajua mawazo nayo wazia ninyi asema bwana ni mawazo ya amani wala si ya mabaya kwa hapa ninyi tumaini siku zenu za mwisho for i know the thoughts that i think towards you say the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end tuko we are here katika roho we are in the spirit tunahitaji roho wa mungu and we need the holy ghost jioni ya leo today evening na tunaamini mungu and we believe that god atamimina roho yake will pour his spirit jioni ya leo today evening kumumwagia kila mmoja kuwa na hakika pouring to everyone to be sure watu wapewe tumaini that people may be given hope na siku za mwisho hope to the end days kuanzia leo na kesho na kuendelea miaka ijayo today and tomorrow going work to the watu to years to come na hakika that people may have may be very na sure roho ya kuwa na hakika that the spirit of being sure may be created in them kuomba, when you go to prayer mungu nisamehe you tell god forgive me maana sijatafuta because i've not i've not sought maana mwingine anaenda anafika mahala because some go to an extent sijui, sijui ni kweli i don't know whether it's true amesimama hivi you are standing that way alafu anarudi tena and then you go back ah mungu alisema atawaponya okay god said you'll heal us mungu alisema atawabariki god said you're going to bless us alafu anageuka tena and then you turn again sijui kama ni kweli i don't know whether it's true hata kuna wengine dunia hii wanasema hakuna mungu even to some they say there's no god kazi ya lana ndio hiyo that is the work of a curse una nena makufuru ili mungu akuache you are blaspheming for god to forsake you kuna mji usiona baba is there a go, is there a home baba that has no father in this, in this in this world hata huyu ametoka tanzania even this one comes from tanzania ameka luka huyu he is called luka ukifika huko nakwambia ingia nyumbani mwangu hapa if you go there i'll tell you come into my house hata aliye hapa hata nyinyi even you kila mtu ana mji wake everyone has his homestead hata hakuna mungu and you are saying there's no god ah ndio tutamuomba Mungu and that's why I going to pray to God maana hii mioyo hii because this heart inagiza has darkness haioni you don't see wewe jaribu kusema you try and say mimi sina baba dunia hii oh i have no father in this world nilishuka kutoka mbinguni i descended from heaven wewe unaona hata kama ni wazee kabisa kazee kabisa you will find even very an, a very old, old man tena anaulizwa na wazee wenzake and some other old man are asking him kweli wewe kwako ni wapi where do you come from Kwenu ni wapi? Where is your home? Hebu niambie na babako ni nani? And who is your father tell me? Sasa aseme hivi. Sasa muse muse kama mimi na kwa sababu kweli. Such an old man like me to miss a father. Mpaka atakapotaja. It is until he mentions. Kwetu ni hapa. My home is this area. Mavumbo. Mavumbo na baba ni Chimera. And my father's Chimera. Hey. Okay. Ni kweli ni kweli. That is true. Haya ni petu mbangu basi. Okay, give me snuff then. Eh? Wao nasema huna hakuna Mungu. And they are saying there's no God. Dunia hii, this world, Mungu yuko. God is there. Eh? Yeah. Tutamuomba Mungu. We are going to pray. Unaona haya maneno Roho wa Mungu anazungumza haya. You see this word the spirit of God Kuna is speaking. Kuna watu wanaomba na hawana hakika. There are people hawana hakika. There are people who are not sure. Anaomba, they are praying. Lakini hana hakika. But then they are not sure. Akitoka pale. So when they come out of there. Kama mawaso mengine. He's filled with so many thoughts. Lakini shida yangu si bure. Mimi naona ni roba mimi. But then my problem is not in fact. I think someone is here to lia huyu. Someone who is not settled. Ndugu zangu, my brothers. Mungu anataka kutubariki kabisa. God truly want to bless us. Lakini tutende haki. But then let us do what is right. Uwe na hakika. To be very sure. Maneno haya yanatoka kwa Mungu. That this was come from God. Utaona Mungu anakufanyia maneno ya ambayo sio ya kawaida then you see god doing extraordinary things to you hata watu waseme na huyu naye even people say this one we, we know him but what happened 
kuwa na hakika to be very sure je una hakika Mungu atakubariki are you sure that god can bless je una hakika kwamba biashara yako itafaulu that are you sure your, your business can be prosperous una watu hawana hakika there are people who are not sure anasema they say what wengine lakini sisi wengine tulikataliwa kitambo to others but then some of us were refused to take that and the name was written with a red pen ah what bona hakwambii umeandikwa what do you mean that you are writing in blood Then why does it why does it tell you that you are written that you enter heaven? Sema you say Naliandikwa hilo jina langu let my name be written na kalamu nyekundu siendelee kutengenezwa na kuandikwa hilo jina langu in ready pen and ready pen Lakini mimi nitaingia kwa Bwana Yesu But then I will go to Jesus Tukienda kuomba So when we go to prayers Mungu God umba create ndani yangu inside me roho iliyo na hakika the spirit to be sure roho iliyo na hakika the spirit that is very sure unafanya nini hapa mbona kuna shida hapa what are you doing here why is there a problem here? mimi niliambiwa hivi i was told this hata ni dada ndiye aliambiwa and it is my wife that told me sasa unaenda unaolewa na manuel unaolewa you are being married by manuel huyo mtu okay that man unaelewa wahubiri hawana mshahara you know preachers are not paid wana ngoja ngoja vitu they are just waiting here and there akasema najua hayo lakini naenda huko then she said i know all that but then i'm going there akaja kwangu so she came to me kumbe amefanya la mungu and she done what is godly vile wanavyosema si hivyo whatever they were saying is not true it is not true ni fitina that is only discord ni fitina that is only discord tuache fitina let us forsake this fitina leo ni uchawi mkubwa This God is also great witches also. Tutaomba jioni ya leo. We are going to pray this evening. Mimi ninasikia furaha kubwa sana huyu. I'm very very happy indeed. Na naamini hata wewe unasikia. And I believe you are also very happy. Amen. Amen. Neno kuwa na hakika. The word is to be very sure. Si kitu kingine. It's nothing else. Kuwa na hakika. To be very sure. Kwamba Mungu yuko. That God is there. Na chochote ambacho nakihitaji najua Mungu atanipa. And whatever I need God will grant me. Sasa basi so now tukaoana we got married ishara za kuonyesha atapata tabu sikaanza then signs showing that we are going to blessed began nyumba inaanguka so the house was falling inaenda hiki nyume nyume huko the house was going backwards nikatafuta fundi anaitwa nani ndoro i sought for a fundi called ndoro sijui kwa hapa i don't know where he is nikamwambia wewe ndio fundi i told him you are the artisan hebu njoo uangalie hii nyumba yangu okay come and look at my house akaizunguka he went round it ah what inaenda namna hii the house is going back na wako humo and we are hata mimi niko humo and i wanted the house akaniambia hii so he told me this one tutafute magongo matatu let us look for very strong logs yako hapo ya mtanga and they were already there kasema hata yuko hapa and i told him they are already here basi akachimba shimo akaweka ngi so he dug a hole and put them there akachimba shimo akaweka dug another hole and put them there sasa mekwa bunduki ameshikilia namna hii so it began like a gun na mimi niko ndani hapo and i was inside the house huko ambako nilikuwa naenda huko imezuiwa where the house was bent backwards now it is held now si ndio fitina ipate chumvi kweli kweli sasa that is now discord si tulisema hiyo hiyo si that's exactly what we say Ah, mimi hata naangalia mbele kama dereva. But then I was facing the head like a driver. Ni mpaka upitie msalabani. You have to pass through the cross. Amen. Amen. Ni mpaka utakapopitia msalabani. You have to pass through the cross. Aya. Okay. Kumbe hiyo ni msalaba. And that was my cross. Hiyo magongo yakaje akaondoka. So the logs were later removed. Hata leo hayapo. And today they are no longer there. Ndugu zangu, my brothers, hata kama tumeokoka, even if you are safe, una hakika na haya maneno. Then are you sure with this word? Una hakika. Are you sure? Kwamba ubaya ni dhambi. That this evil is a sin. Biblia haina neno hiyo. The Bible has nothing wrong. Hii ni barabara. This is just a way. Ni njia. It is a way. Ya kutuonyesha. To show us. Tunaenda wapi? That where we are going. Sasa, so now, neno moja ndio hilo. One word is this. Je, una hakika Mungu yuko? Are you sure that God is there? Hilo tu. That's all. Sasa tutaomba. So now we're going to pray. Muumbie Mungu. And tell God. Niumbie roho ya kuwa na hakika. Create me Get inside me the spirit of being sure. Kwamba hayo mazuri yanatoka kwako wewe Mungu. That all the goodness comes from you God. Uniumbie roho ya kuwa na hakika. You create in me the spirit of being sure. Hilo tu. 
Only that. Kupona kila mtu anataka. Healing to everyone wants. Kubarikiwa kila mtu anataka. Blessings everyone wants them. Kufanikiwa kila mtu anataka. Success everyone wants it. Lakini je, but then una hakika na haya maneno? Are you sure with this word? Kwamba Mungu alisema hivi? That God promised this. Au unapingana na hayo maneno? Or maybe you are opposing those words. Hayo ni maneno ya watu. You are saying these are words of men. Ndio neno tutaliombea jioni ya leo. This is the word we are going to pray for today watu evening. Watu wapewe kuwa na hakika. That people may be given to be sure. Tulio hapa karibu we who are near here na walio mbali and to those who are far off nzima, and to the whole world popote wanadamu walipo wherever they are human wawe beings na hakika kwamba Mungu yuko that they be very sure that God is there na anaweza kutubariki and he can bless us je mmekuwa tayari watu wa Mungu so are you ready now people of God nasikia sauti ya Yesu Kini ta mwana mjo My brothers kwa sababu huna hakika because you have no you are not sure ndio huoni kazi za Mungu zikifanyika maishani mwako and that's why you're not seeing the works of God happening in you ndio kaulizwa Petro na wengine and that's why Peter and others were asked watu wanasema mimi ni nani what do people say i am na wewe leo nao wanasema nini and what do you say today mbona ile shida iko hapo why is that the problem is mbona there mbona ile matatizo yako hapo why is that the complication is there mbona hufaulu why are you not successful tutamsihi Mungu jioni We are going to be seek God today evening. Without the spirit of God, we will not manage. Lakini utaweza jioni ya leo. But you're going to manage today evening. Utakapomwambia Mungu, once you tell God, Bwana nilikuwa nimekosa kwa na hakika. Oh Lord, I did not have the surety. Nilikuwa nimekosa kwa na hakika. I was not very sure. Kwamba unaweza yote. That you can do everything. Maishani mwangu. In my life. Baba Father, jenga upya na build a new moyoni mwangu inside my heart moyoni mwangu inside my spirit unipe kuwa na hakika you give me to be sure unipe kuwa na hakika you give me to be sure kwa hivyo jitayarishe ndugu yangu so prepare yourself my brother maana tutaenda mbele za Mungu because we shall go before kila God kila moja kwa kinywa chake and everyone with his own mouth achilia moyo wako you release your heart achilia roho yako you release your spirit achilia mawazo yako you release your thoughts mwambie Mungu and tell God nimekosa kuwa na hakika i am not sure Mungu umwambie niokoe. You tell God to save you. Umwambie Mungu niokoe. You tell God to save you. Ndugu zangu mnaishi na roho chafu. My brothers you are living with an evil spirit hakika. because you are not sure. Sasa tunaenda kuomba. Now we are going to pray. Kila moja muombe Mungu sasa. Everyone to pray to God Kila now. Kila moja msihi Mungu sasa. Everyone to beseech God now. Kila moja muombe Mungu sasa. Everyone to pray to God now. Umwambie Mungu niokoe. You tell God to save you. Oh baba nashukuru. Baba ni nakutukuza. Yes so great to mana Yes so great to mana Yes so great to mana
naenda kuomba. There is a prayer that I'm Alavu going to make. And then we close our service. Tufunge macho. We all close our eyes. Baba Mungu ninakushukuru jioni ya leo. Umezungumuza na roho zetu. Unatujua unatuona vile tulivyo. Baba ninakuomba. Ninalo kusihi kati kati yetu baba. Ninakuomba ukajalie kila mmoja ambaye amekusanyika mahala hapa. Baba umbia watu wako wote kuwa na hakika. Na ninaamini Mungu baba wewe ulisema sitawaacha kamwe. Baba ninakuomba ndugu yule, dada yule, kijana yule umbia kila mmoja moyoni mwake, rohoni mwake bwana kuwa na hakika. Baba ninakushukuru itakuwa ni vizuri, itakuwa ni vyema tunaomba tukiwa na hakika kwamba wewe Mungu uko na waenda kutimiza. Baba ninakuomba nyosha mkono wako baba. Kugusa kila moyo. Kugusa kila roho. Watu wako wawe na hakika kwa sababu wewe Mungu uko bana na hubadiliki ulianza kuponya, ulianza kuokoa, ulianza hiyo kazi zote bwana. Baba ninakusihi usiku huu wa leo baba. Ukaumbie watu wako bwana kuwa na hakika itakuwa ni furaha kwetu kwa sababu wewe huwezi kutuacha utampa kila mmoja haja ya moyo wake baba ninakushukuru na hakika watenda na hakika watimiza waumba baba walio karibu na walio mbali na dunia nzima ipewe kuwa na hakika kwamba wewe Mungu uko tunaishi maana wewe uko tunakula maana wewe uko tunafanya biashara zetu maana wewe uko baba ni asante nina hakika jioni ya leo utakuwa pamoja na watu wako utawalinda popote pale na shukuru maana umetenda na shukuru maana umewatimizia yale walioyahitaji asante Mungu baba najua umesikia najua umetenda najua umetimiza katika jina la Yesu mokozi wetu oh, asante asante bwana